Joyous Kutsa Kwanzaa. Hi, my name is Gary the Rainbow, and you can follow me on a variety of different social media outlets, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Today, we're going to talk about day six of Kuchu Kwanzaa, which is Siku Sita, which stands for day six in Swahili. Sigani. Remember, that is Swahili for what's the tea. Today, we're going to talk about um, the next principle, which is pronounced kuma, which stands for creativity. The symbol for today is nuwadi, which means gifts. These are symbolic of the talents and contributions of our communities in the creation and creative use of language, ways of being, and institutions for us by us. The candle for today is yellow, which stands for happiness and creativity. Just a reminder that I'm still using the Mushima Saba, which is associated in the Kinara, which is associated with Kwanzaa. The Mushima Saba is the candles, and then the stand itself is the Kinara. And so I'm using the Kwanzaa ones because I didn't have time to get rainbow candles that will be necessary for a proper celebration of Kusha Kwanzaa. For, the, for this year's celebration, I'm still using this one. And so we're going to go ahead and light the candle for day six. Imagine it to be a yellow candle. Day six of Kucha Kwanzaa is traditionally observed on December 31st, the last day of the calendar year. Today, today's principle, Kuma, which is creativity in Swahili, asks us to quote, to foster, facilitate, and support the arts and innovation in order to leave our communities more beautiful than we inherit them, to share and pass on our cultural attitudes and beliefs, and to provide social commentary, end quote. So how can I observe Kucha Kwanzaa Day 6, Siku Sita today? Attend a virtual show, performance, or artistic event to support the arts and culture field. Create, generate, or produce innovative cultural art related to one of the principles of Kwanzaa, which is, for example, performing, fine arts, visual arts, etc., that can be displayed at next year's celebration and to foster your creativity, and to revisit one of your favorite artists or artistic pieces. Um, for example, read favorite poem, listen to favorite album, watch favorite film, etc., to remind you of the beauty and utility of art. And so, remember um, yesterday I was talking about that skein of yarn and that sparkly cool yarn? Well, as you can see, here is the product of it. I'm going to take it off and see if I can zoom it in on the camera here. But yeah, I made this beanie. An observance for today. It is crocheted by Gary Creations. Remember, GaryCreations.com. You, you might be able to convince me for a commission of this hat, which is easily replicable. Wink. So, next I would like to talk about is some black LGBTQIA plus musical artists. So, I would like to highlight uh, one, two, three, four, five different people today. And so the first one I would like to highlight is the singer performer Sylvester, Sunrise 1947, Sunset 1988. And the song I would like to highlight by him today is You Make Me Feel Mighty Real, um, released in 1978. Sylvester is one of the few cross-dressing artists to break ground while being an out gay man. In the disco age of the 70s, Sylvester brought back the funk. The funk. He did not separate his personality from his music. He was unabashedly flamboyant, and he set the standard for many of the choices seen today. The next LGBTQIA artist I would like to highlight today is Tracy Chapman, born in 1964 and still alive with us as of the time of the recording of this um, online celebration. And the song I would like to highlight by Tracy is called Give Me One Reason, um, released in 1995. 
Not many black artists occupy the folk music space, but for four time Grammy award winning artist, Tracy Chapman distinguished herself with such a sound. With a more subtle personal and public persona than some of her fellow LGBTQIA artists, Chapman's multi-platinum hits Fast Car and, the one highlighted today, Give Me One Reason, cover the difficulties of living. The next one I would like to highlight in terms of Black LGBTQIA artists is Life. It's spelled L-E, number one, and F. Um, Life was born in 1989 and still live with us today. And the song I would like to highlight is called What, um, which was released in 2012. Um, Khalif Diouf, also known by his stage name of Life, is an American rapper and producer. He is also part of the record label called Campin' Street with Booty, Don Christian, and Chaz Requina. As gay rapper, as a gay rapper, he's garnered attention for his musical and performance styles. Following a series of well-received message, mix, sorry, following a series of well-received mixtapes and EPs, his debut studio album *Riot Boy* (B.O.I.) was released in November 2015. I'm just sitting here in my head right now, just thinking about what. That's just one of my jams, y'all. I can just to understand. Um, the next person I would like to highlight is Dre Bay, D-R-E-B-A-E, born in 1997 and as of the time of this video still alive. And the song I would like to highlight um, from Dre Bay is Elegant, was released in 2018. DeAndre Clark, better known as Dre Bay, was quickly in included on many of the playlists after his debut performance at the San Francisco Pride in 2018 where he performed alongside singer-songwriter Kalani. Rapper and social media personality Dre Bay joined Kalani on stage after her performance, and he performed his single, Elegant, which had already been streamed on multiple platforms over two million times. He is also predominantly recognized for song, excuse me, he's also predominantly recognized for that song and also being featured on Megan Thee Stallion's song called No Pressure. Last but certainly not least, I would like to highlight a local LGBTQIA artist that I absolutely positively love, adore. I could, I could never get a title of this person. Um, and this person's actually a drag queen who decided to go into music, and so I, I just love drag as a whole. Um, drag queen, drag kings, people who are non-binary, I just love the performativeness of it all. So this one I want to highlight is, called, is Evie Oddly, um, born 1993 and still with us present day. And the song I would like to um, feature is called Height, um, featuring another drag queen called Vanessa Vanji Mateo. And for those who ever watch RuPaul Drag Race or have the inclination of it, you all know the phrase, Vanji, Miss Vanji. So she is featuring on Evie Oddly's song Height. And that song was released actually this past summer in 2020. Evie Oddly is an American drag queen, fashion designer, and singer who came into the spotlight after winning the 2019 season of the TV series RuPaul's Drag Race reality competition. Evie is a professional artist known for using flamboyant and provocative looks in a trademark loud cackle to push the boundaries of the drag art form. She was a resident entertainer and promoter at Trax in Denver, Colorado, Denver's largest LGBTQIA plus nightclub, and then became a regular cast member of the iconic stage show Drag Nation in 2015. So those are the artists I would like to highlight today for a Black LGBTQIA musical um, artists, Sylvester, Tracy Chapman, Life, Dre Bay, and last but certainly not least, Evie Oddly. And the last thing I would like to do with you all today uh, in order, in honor of Kuchu Kwanzaa, is a lot of people don't know that um, I write poetry, prose, short stories every once in a while. I haven't really been in the mood lately, and lately it's like the last five years, um, but uh, it comes and goes. And so, but this is a poem that I written in 2009 that was published in a local literary art magazine. And so I just want to go ahead and share that with you all today, um, because um, in, the, in the spirit of today's theme of Kuma and creativity, um, 
Creative Writing. And so the poem is titled Little Ghetto Child. <clears throat> it's been a while since I performed it, so I'm going to try. Look at you, little ghetto child, at 8.15 in the morning at the 35th Street bus stop. Vaseline dip skin, transparent jelly glitter sandals, purple and orange barrettes on the ends of your rubber band parted braids. Mama looking oh so good with that turquoise tank top, donning silver sequin thonged, bowing Chanel and Louis Vuitton. Little ghetto child, look at ya, eating a bag of Doritos on a broken stroller, staring at me from the depths of your dark brown eyes. Getting off the bus at Titonia and Capitol, Mama looks across the street, there's no end in sight. Wondering where your daddy is since last night. Um, so yeah, poem is called Little Ghetto Child, written by me, Gary the Rainbow, in 2009. And so that will conclude our celebration for today for day six of Kuchu Kwanzaa. Remember, Siku Sita, which is day six, and today's um, principle is Kuma, creativity. Um, the symbol is Zwadi gifts. And so I do want to highlight that. I don't have any gifts here today um, on, on my altar. However, um, the gift that I symbolically have is the gift to have this ability to share with you all about Kuchu Kwanja and the gift of these videos and these social media postings and hopefully spread the word. Hopefully we'll have more black LGBTQIA plus and allies um, to be able to celebrate with Kuchu Kwanja in subsequent years. So those are my gifts to you all today. Remember, joy is Kucha Kwanzaa. Thank you all so much for joining in today. Uh, remember, today is New Year's Eve. Hope you have a happy and safe New Year's Eve. And I will join you all tomorrow for the last day of a celebration on New Year's Day 2021 for the last day of Kucha Kwanzaa. Take care and have a good evening.